guys, I'm going to first start out by cleansing the skin with the Garnier Micellar Water just on a regular cotton pad just to ensure there's no dirt on the face before we start the makeup. Then I'm going to go in with the Model Co Hydrating Primer and just apply that on a regular paddle brush. Then I'm going to go in with the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Orange just to counteract out the dark circles underneath the eye area. For foundation, I used my RCMA foundation palette. This is the VK10 palette, and I took the shade KO6 and KO7 and just mixed them together to match her complexion nicely. I'm just using a Zoeva buffing brush to apply this. Then I actually go in with my damp um, beauty complexion sponge and just press the foundation into the skin. I always do this. I just feel like it gives a more natural and flawless finish. For concealer, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand, and I just applied that with a regular concealer brush underneath the eye area, on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow, on the chin, and I just also took that onto the sides of her mouth as well. Taking the same Beauty Complexion sponge, making sure that it is still damp, I'm just going to go in and blend out that concealer, just making sure there's no harsh visible lines between the concealer and the foundation. Taking the shade Banana from my Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm just going to set all the places that we applied that concealer. To set the rest of the face, I use the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I love this powder, just when I don't want any more um, extra coverage, I just feel like everything else glides on on top of this perfectly. Moving on to brows, I first like to go in and brush through the brow hair just with a spoolie and then I go in with the shade Ebony from my Anastasia brow palette and as you can see here, I just kind of map out where I want my brow to be and then I lightly go in to fill the start of the brow and just feather it upwards and then work my way to the tail of the brow. I always do eyebrows different on clients. Sometimes I start at the tail, sometimes I start at the front. It really just depends on the client's eyebrows and the shape of the eyebrows, etc. But for this client, I started at the front and then just worked my way to the tail. Moving on to eyes, I took Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek on a fluffy brush and just ran that through the crease area and the upper crease as a transition shade. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller, more defined brush. And I'm going to take the shade Latte and just apply that into the crease area, blending it from the outer corner and bring it about three quarters of the way in. Using the same brush, I'm just going to go straight over the top of where we just applied the Latte. But this time I'm going to use Mocha also by Makeup Geek, just making sure that I blend out that shadow just so there's a nice gradient of color. Then I'm going to go in with a foiled shadow also by Makeup Geek. This is called In the Spotlight. I'm just going to place that on the first half of the eye. Then I'm going to take another foiled shadow by Makeup Geek. This is called Grandstand. I'm just going to place that on the outer portion of the eye. Taking the same fluffy brush as we used before, I'm just going to go in with no extra product on it and just blend all that out. Then I'm going to go in with Shimmer Shimmer also by Makeup Geek and just place that onto the inner corners of the eye and also the brow bone. Then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear also by Makeup Geek and just place that on the outer portions of the eye, making sure that I do blend it out just so you can see the nice gradient of colors. Using a gel liner, this one is Black Track by MAC Cosmetics. I first start off by going in above the lash line and just making a straight line and then I get the client to look up, draw my wing, get the client to look down and then kind of connect it all together. For the lower lash line, I took the shade Latte on a small pencil brush and just ran that from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner of the eye. And then I go in with Mocha and just go straight over the top of that. Using Makeup Geek's Corrupt, I'm just going to take that on a flat smudger brush and just press that into the lower lash line. And then I'm going to switch up the brushes and take a little bit more of the Corrupt shade and just smoke out that lower lash line. Now my client did have really sensitive eyes, so I just made sure that I let her blink throughout this process especially when I applied this gel liner from MAC on again it was really tricky. For mascara I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara on a disposable spoolie one and just coated the upper and lower lashes. For false eyelashes, I decided to go with the Cara Demi Wispies and just applied that with my duo lash glue. To 
To bronze the skin, I used Gimme Sun by MAC Cosmetics. I just took that down the cheekbone area, across the jawline, down the neck, up onto the temples, around the forehead, and also down the sides of the nose. To define the face, I used my Anastasia Contour Kit again. I took the shade Fawn on my ITA brush by NARS and I just chiseled out the cheekbone area. I took it also up onto the temple, down the jawline and down the sides of the nose. For blush, I used Milani Cosmetics Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze and just applied that to the apples of the cheeks and dragged it up towards the temple area. To clean up the contour, I used Banana from the Anastasia Contour Kit and just ran that underneath the cheekbone area. And to highlight the face, I used Mary Lou by The Balm Cosmetics. I just took that and applied it to the highest points of the cheek, down the bridge of the nose, on the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow and also brushed it down onto the chin area. For lips, I decided to do something a little bit more bold, so the lip liner I'm using is Vino by MAC Cosmetics, and I'm simply just going to outline the lips, and then I'm going to go in with Rebel Lipstick by MAC Cosmetics. This is a satin lipstick, I'm just simply going to place that straight over the top of the lips. Then I decided to put a bit of gloss on. The gloss I used was the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint in the shade Seduce. So that's the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!